Hey there, YouTube. This is Mr. Lubufu, and I'm here with your Magic the Gathering news. Now, for the first part, I'm going to say New Noble High Arc of sorts. This is the Buy a Box promo for Cons of Tarkir, and it is Mystic Sound Claw. It's one in a green for a 2 1 that has tap at green, blue, or red to your mana pool. It has morph of two colorless. And whenever Mystic uh, uh, Soundclaw is put face up, add, or is flipped face up, add green, blue, red to your mana pool. Now, this is a card. Um, despite what some people are saying, they're saying, oh, this card is terrible because it's not Noble Hierarch. This card is actually very strong. And let me say to you why. So you cast this face down on turn three. That's just a 2 2 morph. And on turn on the following turn, you can flip it face up for two, add three mana to your mana pool. You can then tap it for that mana because it's been in play. And your mana curve essentially goes if you play turn one Lana War Elf or sorry, uh, uh, Elvish Mystic, you go turn one Elvish Mystic, which is completely feasible in this format. Turn two, uh, this guy face down. Turn three, you now have six mana available to you. That is a very, very powerful thing. Yes, you are kind of committing yourself to three colors, but this guy has a colorless morph cost. And uh, maybe you don't need one of the colors. Maybe you can use this for colorless man, or like you can use some of the colors for colorless mana instead. I think it only really has you committed to green, not necessarily the other colors, though, of course, you have a huge advantage to playing at least one more of them. I think this guy is pretty strong. Uh, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, but it's not as good as Noble Hierarch. And my response to that is, well, yeah, Noble Hierarch's very, very, very good. But you can't necessarily say that this guy's not because of it, because this card is strong. Um, I'm not sure how much play you'll see compared to S Sylvan Caryatid, uh, Corsair, Elvish Mystic, all these other mana ramp guys that are available. But... This is not a guy to be forgotten about. Um, ramps harder the very uh, the turn you morph it, which is the key thing. So, very interesting, very interesting indeed. Um, let's uh, there. There's also been some updates on a ton of card arts. So, if you haven't been to PlaneswalkerPoints.com to check your own Planeswalker points, go there. You can choose a clan. And uh, you can find some exclusive card arts. There's no, or uh, there's there's nothing that's been too spoiled. Uh, five of the arts were just the cons that we knew about. Five of them are the stereotypical pictures for the clans, and then the other five, which I unfortunately cannot show because they are either really really small or gigantic, are five pictures of clan champions. So it is quite possible we get a legendary cycle of champions one for each color so that'll be hopefully pretty awesome anyway that's it for today in magic news thank you guys all for watching rate comment and subscribe let me know what you think in the comments down below thank you all for watching